Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I'm your host. Happy to be joined today by a wonderful group of friends. I'm Andrew. Trey. I'm Martin. All right, today we are bringing y'all Promenade, designed by Tate Wu and published by Sunrise Tornado Game Studio. Now, uh, Sunrise Tornado Game Studio, or Tate Wu, as it were, also kindly provided us with this review copy of the game, which allowed us to bring this to y'all tonight. So a big thank you uh, also to Smooks and everybody over at Taiwan Board Game Design for the assist in getting us a copy of this. And also a big thank you to Scott Ferrier, who, full disclosure, we actually borrowed his copy of the game because I didn't know if the review copy would make it in time, but as it was, it did. So here we are. So welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. Before we get started, a big thank you to all of our patrons who helped make all of this possible. So today we uh, want to give a special shout out to Daniel Bellina and say thanks for being a patron and supporting the show. Speaking of which, if you enjoy what we're doing here at Heavy Cardboard, like and subscribe down below. It helps you guys, it helps the channel, uh, the whole nine yards with that. If you want to go one step further and join the herd, you can go over to pledgehc.com and make that number go bigger. Also, we are on the cusp of being able to pick up uh, some new equipment for the studio, which helps make it an even more dynamic experience for y'all watching. So check that out if you want over on PledgeHC.com. So Promenade. I didn't pick this up at uh, Essen because there were uh, the print run was 200 copies, I think. Um, mm. So here it is. Good news, bad news. Bad news, you can't get this. <laughs> Sorry. Not really. It's heavy cardboard. On a positive note, however, it is getting picked up, or has gotten picked up, by Rio Grande Games and is going to be coming to the U.S. next year. Also good news, if you want more details on that, we have quite a bit of details for you, as well as some of the example art, including a, uh, a non-final box cover. If you guys want to see all that, hang out till the end of the stream. Uh, hopefully that's a pretty good teaser and you guys uh, join us for that and hear all about Rio Grande's version coming in 2020. That said, all of us have actually played this finally. I've played this now I think four times. Uh, it's a deck builder. If you're familiar with games like Dominion, so on and so forth, it'll feel somewhat familiar, or at least the main mechanism in the game will feel familiar. Other than that, um, yeah, I'll teach it, bring down the cameras in chat, and then uh, we'll get started. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully yep. y'all are ready. It's, it's not going to be a terribly long game, nor a terribly long teach. It's a really good game. Hopefully you guys stick around and join us for that. So Promenade, the game of impressionist art. So what is it you guys are looking at here first? Well, on the main board here, we have victory point track around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Then at the top of the board, uh, there are various end game goal cards potential scoring cards. I say potential because it's going to be dependent on which of the, as you can see, five expositions or which of them, if any, get filled as we go along. There are spots out here for us to exhibit art in the various expositions. And I should point out that even though they are named for various design or uh, famous artists, um, they do not tie in necessarily with the artwork, like the Renoirs will not go here necessarily, Monet, Degas, etc. So these are just available spaces out here for us to exhibit art. We have the main exhibit deck there. Then down below we have the five, well, really four artwork galleries down here, as well as the two money card galleries that we're going to be purchasing cards from. So again, if you're familiar with games like Dominion, so on and so forth, we have artwork galleries in these four, which are going to be dynamically priced. Then we also have the gold cards worth three and five gold for purchasing new cards, as well as exhibiting cards out in the exhibits. That's pretty much what we're looking at over here. I did mention that these are a dynamic pricing, which will come into play. Over here on the market rating board, this is going to be essentially the current value of the various colors of artwork, as well as the gold cards for in-game what they're worth, and then end-game what, what they're worth. And you'll notice that the gold market over here is a bit more dynamic in that it's five gold equals one victory point, whereas as it increases, the ratio gets better, but then it crosses a threshold and starts to go 
downhill. So that's everything that you're looking at communally. But then there is within everybody's player or tableau, there is kind of a little player board here that lists a player aid and what available actions you have, as well as the two actions that you're going to be taking, a draw pile and a discard pile, as well as if people choose to use it. This here is basically the exact same thing as this, but it's right here in front of you so that, for instance, Shrey can look at his own board and be like, oh, gold or uh, red artwork is worth three as opposed to looking over here and trying to parse where it is over there. So it just is a little bit more dynamic in that regard. Then every player is going to start with five uh, randomly drawn uh, pieces of artwork in the five different colors, possibly, and they're going to start with a preceded deck of cards based on turn order. So the number down here in the bottom left hand corner in the blue is going to be the turn order for the initial starting hand of five gold cards and then a randomly generated five artwork cards. We'll shuffle these up and then you're going to drop a hand of five cards. So that's kind of what you're looking at, but how do you play the game? Well, the goal of the game, as I mentioned, as you could assume, is victory points with the victory point track, so on and so forth. You're going to be scoring copious amounts of victory points throughout the game, predominantly by exhibiting artwork out here into the various expositions. Then at the end of the game, depending on what artwork that you have in your draw pile, your discard pile, and possibly your hand, it's going to be worth certain amounts of victory points. Your gold cards, if you have any left, will be worth a certain amount of victory points. And then possible in-game scoring with the five Musée uh, cards that are at the top of the board. So that's how you're going to be getting points, but how do you actually play the game? Well, the game takes place over an indeterminate number of rounds, uh, and one player takes all of their actions on their turn before moving clockwise in order to the next player. On a player's turn, they have two actions. They are not forced to take both actions. More often than not, you're going to want to, but there may be exceptions to that rule. But you can always take two actions on your turn. Of those actions, there are three options. Of those three options, you can do them in any order, and you can do them in multiple. So in other words, you could do any of these for both actions if you so desire. So with that said, let's go over what the three actions are. The first one is haggle. So haggle says if you have a hand of, say, five cards, and you're not super thrilled, maybe, with what you drew, you can always choose to discard one card from your hand, be it a coin card or a money card or a piece of artwork card, say something along the lines of that. You discard it, and then you can draw two cards from the draw pile. So that would be one, and that would be two, like so. Easy enough. Obviously, you can do it as your first or second action. If you do it for your second action, you then can't necessarily benefit from that. So more often than not, you're going to see if anybody haggles, they will haggle for their first action. Easy enough. Discard a card from your hand to draw two more. Any questions on that? Nope. nope. All right. For Another option is acquiring cards. So buy a card in, wait for it, the <coughs> promenade. Good timing on that. Hmm. So there we go. So how do you purchase cards? Well, easy enough. All of the money cards have three different pieces of information on them. The first one is the big number in the middle. How much is it worth? Okay, that's worth one coin, obviously. The cost, if you will, is going to be or uh, in the top left-hand corner. I shouldn't say the cost, but also the same number will be up in the top left-hand corner. Then, if you're familiar with most deck builders in which you can trash cards, the difference between trashing and discarding is discard, it comes into your discard and will be shuffled back into a draw pile eventually. However, if you trash it, it actually leaves the game entirely. Okay. So if you trash the, uh, any of the gold cards of the one or two from the starting deck or the three value gold cards, you'll notice that there is something down here at the bottom. And that is the value if you trash this card to do the very specific action that it calls for. Okay? So getting back to the second action, which is acquire new cards. How do you do so? Well, the costs for the various galleries is on the disc 
that is shown over here on the left hand side. So to, build, uh, to buy in the uh, Megan gallery, it costs one, the Audrea is two, the next one is five, then eight. These are going to be dynamically priced, and I'll explain how, what, how and why that changes as we go along. So on your turn, let's say I want to purchase one of the pieces of artwork there in the Megan one. I could then either discard one coin card for an action, or in lieu of that, I can purchase it using artwork. Because as I mentioned earlier, all the artwork is going to be dynamically priced in that it starts with a value of one gold. But every time it hits one of the 10 spots on it as it increases in value, it's going to actually increase in value both for in-game using it as gold as well as end-game counting it as victory points. So at the start of the game, a one gold card is the same as any piece of artwork. They're both worth one. Easy enough, that makes sense, right? So as my action, I could choose to purchase any one of those three cards. So let's say I choose here Young Wolf. I then put that there. Then the market increases for whatever I purchased by that number in the gallery that I purchased it from. So I bought a green piece of artwork it goes up two, so green will then move up in price two. If at any point, let's say it were there and then I purchased this green artwork, one, two, oh hey, look at that, green is now worth two. So then, maybe on Andrew's turn, if he were to play a green piece of artwork for to be able to purchase something out here, it would now be worth two to be able to purchase from here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A couple of other rules about purchasing cards out here. First off, you are never allowed to purchase multiple pieces of artwork from the same gallery in the same action, okay? Or in the same turn, I should say. So if I purchased a card, say I purchased spending one for green from this gallery, I then cannot purchase another card from the same gallery, but what I could do is I could discard those two to then purchase a card from there, and whatever color I choose to purchase will go up in value. Easy enough there. Any questions on that? Nope. Nope. Gold cards work the exact same way, except this affects the price of gold. So, purchase one of the two available three value cards. There is always a market of two here because they may have different special abilities. We'll read them off as they come out so that everybody knows. And gold will be increase in value as well. And then the five treasure cards here cost eight and increase the value of gold six. So that is acquiring new cards. Easy enough. The third option is to exhibit a painting in the museum, which is putting it out here. Let me put the young wolf back out here. There we go. So the cost to do so is listed at the top left hand corner of each of the expositions. As you can see, it's the same as what's down here, just higher costs. So if I were to spend some amount from here to then be able to exhibit in one of the various galleries, I can do so. But there are a couple of prerequisites. First off, You'll notice the color of cubes. There are five different colors of artwork in the game, as you can see down here. In addition, there are black cubes out there, and those were randomly distributed out there. Black cubes are wild, meaning you can e exhibit any color of artwork with the black cubes, and you can hate draft in a sense that, oh, the first one put out, maybe I put out, say, a purple piece of artwork out here, I am not required to take the purple cube. I could actually take the black cube kind of as a, well, stick it to your opponents type thing. But to be able to do so, I must pay the 11 gold in a mix of gold cards as well as artwork as my action. Boom, I do so. I do want to point out that the card that, or the piece of artwork that you're going to exhibit out here cannot be one that paid to exhibit it. It must be remaining in your hand to be able to exhibit it. Does that make sense? Yep. yep. All right, so you pay the cost, and then you exhibit whatever you want. You then take one of your meeples, put it up there in the right-hand corner to show that you did so. Then we put a matching cube out there, so be it the purple or the black one, and then you immediately peg whatever the amount of points it is. So in this case, it's the first one. It'll be nine points for yellow. I would peg the nine points. Boom, done. 
However, if it is the first artwork that you have displayed between any of it, so in other words, the first one that I display, the first one that Andrew, that Shrey, that Martin, you'll notice that there are bonuses up there in the top right hand corner. You can choose when it's your first piece of artwork, any of the four. And let's say I only wanted to pay, say, or I only had eight gold to be able to purchase, to be able to exhibit, it costs 11. Well, if I'm the first one to take that, if I take that spot there, boom, I actually only had to pay eight. I did not have to have 11 to then be able to get a refund of three. I just had to pay eight, okay? But once I've taken that place, no one else can claim that bonus, but then on Andrew's turn, if he wanted to take either the two discount or the victory point or whatever, it's his choice. I cannot choose another one because I only exhibit the first time once, obviously. Any questions on those? Nope. Nope. In addition to that, you have the five end game goal cards. There is a big stack of them in the game. Uh, those were mostly randomly generated out there and put out at random. Those only trigger in one of two conditions. One is if all of the pieces of artwork are actually exhibited by the end of the game. Meaning if there are three here, four here, or five there, etc., then the one that is directly above that exposition will trigger at the end of the game. However, if none of them actually get uh, triggered at the end of the game, one of them always will, no matter what. And it starts with gold cards, then it goes from, uh, sorry, let me make sure I get this in the right order. It is gold cards, then green museum, then purple hat cards. Okay. Uh, right. It is possible that multiple of those will trigger depending on if multiple of the exhibits are completed by the end of the game. So you might be asking yourself, self, what triggers the end of the game? Well, there are three options or three ways that the game will end. One, if 12 or more paintings get out in the exhibit, we finish the current round, meaning we all end up with the same number of turns, and that will trigger the end of the game. The second way is if the exhibit deck, so this deck of cards, is exhausted, or if one of the values, be it the gold or one of the paintings, eclipses 70 there on the market uh, rating track, then that will trigger the end of the game. We don't, I can't say definitively because we're going to randomize turn order at the beginning and then whoever is the fourth player, they will take the final turn of the game. So at the end of the game, we're going to then go into final scoring. For, final scoring is whatever the value of the various pieces of artwork, we will move them over here. We will then, uh, gather up everything that's in our draw pile that's been played that turn down to the di and in your discard pile and sort them accordingly count up those points same with your gold ca gold cards and then we will calculate any of the end games cards what i did not mention is grabbing your cards that are out here in the exhibit you have already been paid for those. You've already gotten victory points for it. Unless there is something specific for an end game card, you will not score those again, okay? The last thing I wanna talk about is, I said you can take two turns on your action. At the end of your turn, you're going to gather up all the cards that you have played, put them into your discard pile, and draw up to five cards. I say draw up to five cards because it's possible that you may have cards left in your hand at the end of your turn. If you choose, you may discard any and all or none of the cards that are left in your hand and then draw back up to five. There is no hand limit, so it's possible if you wanted to, I guess, skip both of your actions you or haggle for both, and then you end up with a hand of seven cards. You actually wouldn't draw technically, but you get the idea, okay? So that's it. Uh, the game, like I said, ends after either 70 deck runs out or more likely 12 paintings out in the gallery. Any questions? Nope. nope. That's how you play Promenade. All right. So what we will do, go ahead. I think, uh, I'm not sure if you mentioned the five, six. Oh, right. And when you exhibit out here as well. So when I exhibited the purple painting, uh, then purple would go up five in value from wherever it was before I took the action. Good call. 
All right, so that said, let's go ahead. Um, I will shuffle up my five cards. We need to randomize, figure out first player. And the reason is because, again, we have first, second, third, and fourth because these are seated in the value of the card. So you'll notice the fourth player has four twos and one one whereas the first player has three ones and two twos, so that's kind of the balance for the game. Martin, go for it. And as usual, I'm using a deck, of, a standard deck of playing cards, except a rather pretty one called Leonardo by Don de Leon de Midi. So I thought Leonardo yours? would be a good uh, choice for a uh, kind of card deck. Okay. Uh, six, <laughs> Ooh, six, six of hearts. Six of spades. Spades no, beats hearts. Oh, yeah, 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 Ridge uh, rules. So there we go. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. So that is, so Andrew's first. Shrey is second. Martin's third. So I will take the final action of the game. So everybody gets their five or their yeah their five money cards, and then they will also get their five pieces of art. Shuffle them up. I will actually draw five new ones since everyone saw those there. Also, at the beginning of the game, regardless of how many show in each gallery, they start with three in each. And then if a gallery were to ever empty, which will happen, what happens at that point is the market coin will be discarded out of the game and the lowest available will then drop down. So these will not always go in the order in which they are now, meaning lowest to highest. It's possible but that these cost more than these as the game goes along. And when you refill, you refill up to the number shown on the actual board. There we go. All right, so that said, I need to shuffle up my deck. And then uh, over under, I will say uh, three and a half Glory to Realms. It's a pretty friendly group, I think. And... Um, yeah, we're very nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, place your bets on who you have, all right? Uh, oh, and You've never heard that Kabuki kid, though. <laughs> round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Uh, and so with the fancy noble card, or the, the three oh, yeah, gold cards card. we have, uh, one is trash and get eight by one or two panes of the same gallery. So that breaks the rule of not being able to buy two in the same turn. Yep. If you trash this, it's worth eight, and you can do something. Right. And then the next one is eight gold, exhibit one painting. If you exhibit trash it. meaning out here. Yeah. Okay. And Shrey, do you want to do the bonus ones? Sure. The uh, in the Cezanne exposition, the if this uh, card trades at the end of the game, it is the player who has the least gold. Uh, player who has the least gold takes any one painting from from a gallery. I.e., it'll be worth probably four to six points is what they're getting. Okay. Mm -hmm. and if got, this gallery is full, whoever has the fewest money card or gold. Uh, this one is the genre that has the least paintings in the museum. All paintings in the museum are plus five VP. So whichever mm. has the fewest... Out here, plus yeah, five. five. Mm. And this is the player with the most abstract paintings, so those are purple paintings, in hand, deck, and museum. So in, these count the museum. It does. It's six, three, and two VPs for first, second, third. And that's why we're marking them with our meeples out yeah. there. Right. And all paintings in the museum are just plus two VP. And the last one is increase gold, increase the gold market rating, uh, gold market rating token by 15. So, that so if it ends on 34, it actually goes up to 49. There you go, and it'll be priced accordingly. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, Luke. I see. Uh, I see Australia's in the house. All right. All right. So Andrew, it's all you. Yep. So I'm going to start off by buying some paintings. Uh, so first action, I'm going to play this one painting, so it's worth one. So I get a painting that's worth one. I'm going to get this purple Ashley. So purple will go up by two. Purple goes up by two. And then second painting, I'm going to use this for its trash ability along with two others. So that's a total of three, four, five. And get this sea turtle. Green goes up four. And because you trashed it, make sure yep, it's out of the game. game. There we so go. The, this, uh, the trash ability of that is you get three yes. by one painting. Right. Like right. Painting specific, meaning he could not have bought a gold card with that because it specifically said painting. There right. we go. Boom, done. All right. right. And then I'll drop back up. Right. And that's your turn. We don't refill anything until the mm -hmm. exit are out. So I will buy a painting. I will. Uh, Blue or green? Uh, green. All right. Young Wolf it is. So green goes up two. And then I'm going to spend two, three, four, five 
uh, for the one on top of the deck. This one, which is buy one or two paintings from the same gallery. Yep. And we flip this over, and that says buy one or two paintings from the same gallery. So fancy <laughs> noble. It just so happened, and I did <laughs> shuffle all those up. The fives, like I said, don't have special abilities, so they are what they are. Okay. Boom, done. Okay, so again, I'm feeling that getting paintings is a good move to do for good thing to do early on. So I am Not to be going with Orleans. Mm -hmm. I am going to immediately <laughs> I'm gonna just pretend that didn't happen. Um, I'm going to spend one to buy that sea sea painting there from the uh, what's it gallery. Blue goes up two. Blue goes up two. Thank and you. does that refill immediately? No, it's it? at the end of at your the end turn. Of my go. I, I, yeah, well, not that it matters, of course, because, because you can't buy. Well, a it does matter in the sense of see what paintings are available, right. but only Fair in the point. sense that that matters. So here, I actually here's here's what we'll do. Here, one, two, three. There you go. No. <laughs> Thank you very oh, much. <laughs> and then I have to decide what to do with my next move. There. Again, I've got yeah, enough in my hand right to now. get a five. Um, so I could do what Andy does and get and get an extra painting, or I could do what Shrey did and get one of those. Um, nice little um, extra money cards. It's a tricky wow. choice. Um, I'm actually going to go for go for the money cards, and I'm going to go for the exhibit one. Okay. So that'll drop down, and there we go. And oh, hey, exhibit one painting. There we go. Oh, you know what? We should move the gold marker up as well. Oh yeah. So oh, it, uh, that was the second one. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, so that should on. be at six. I apologize. It's easiest thing to forget. Yep. <laughs> When you purchase a card, call out what it should be. <laughs> yep. Help me. All right. Yep. Help me. So now, this was value one, correct? Yep. So it takes the lowest value. For those that didn't see, uh, Tate uh, Wu is in chat. He's designer and publisher. So hello and thank mm. you. Appreciate it. Uh, he said that if the value here, if this one runs out of the five, the minimum value that this will be is above a five. Okay, so it will always increase in value. It'll be uh, higher, okay, mm, but it doesn't oh, necessarily okay. mean that they stay in the same order. So if we buy that out, the four the, is not going to go there. Correct. The, the four will never go to one of those two. Interesting. Two. Okay. All okay. Right. Okay. Hmm. All right. So now, that said, um, okay, so there's that. Uh, Let's see. I'm looking at the colors of cubes that are out there as well. Um, let me see. Can I do that? That's eight. Eight there. And then three. I think we can do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'm going to go ahead and play a two and a one, the yellow there, and I will purchase this yellow, the Europaja. So yellow will go up two, Edward. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so then I will go ahead and trash those two twos, and it says uh, I can get f worth four to buy one painting, so I'll trash both of those to purchase the path there. And yellow will go up six. Thanks for reminding me. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. There. And these two are trashed. And out of the game. Boom. Done. I have one card left in my hand. I will go ahead and discard it. Put that out in my discards. And draw five new cards. Boom. Done. Okay. Uh, I am going to buy some more paintings. Shocking. Uh, so I'm going to trash both of these ones. So that's six, then add another two. So that's eight, and I'll get the young wolf. Green goes up six. So Four, five, go six. Up. Green is now worth two. Mm. So move that up there. Okay. And then, um, hmm. Darjeeling tea tonight. Well, I'll play one green for two and pick up this purple chargers card. Purple goes up three. Purple goes up three. And I have one card left, I'll discard it. So I get a new hand. Shrey. Okay, there's red and blue out there. Nothing else. Mm. I hope mm. you like red or blue. Colors yeah. of blood. Suck and die for your life. Never mind. I was breaking out colors by iced tea, but never mind. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> wrong crowd. Sorry, yeah, wrong. <laughs> totally wrong. Impressionist artwork. Portraits yeah, and no. seascapes. Okay. Could I interest you in red or blue? 
Uh, yes, it would okay. be rather low. I'm just deciding what I do with my other uh, turn. I, yeah, so I will trash this one for three value and buy the blue. Can I get the blue mm -hmm. storm? So blue goes up two. Blue goes up two. And then I will spend two, three, four, five again for the no for the for the money. Um, uh, exhibit one uh, trash yeah, for I'll eight take, I'll take or the exhibit. okay. So that is prosperity, the name of that card. And, and there is another fancy noble. So those are the same now again. And money goes up three. Mr. Fowler. Hmm. Well. Red isn't terribly popular at this point. Well, it's going to have to get off the Something's schneid. Gonna... It's an up-and-comer. <laughs> <laughs> it's an up-and-comer. It's interestingly blocking all the galleries at the moment. Um, now, nobody else in the room knows this, but I started with two blues in my hands, and I bought a third one, so that's three blues. So it's good for me to try and push blue up. So that would be a good thing to do, is to get blue up. So I'm definitely going to buy that blue. I've just got to decide how I want to do it. I think trashing these crummy one coins is probably good because that will also... So generally in a deck builder game you want to try and improve the quality of cards in your deck and trash the weaker cards so that you don't have them cluttering your, your deck. deck right? mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, that's, definitely, um, that's definitely not for this world anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's then got to jo join a couple of friends. The trouble is I've only got this so I've got a two-point treasure, which I could trash for a four there, and three other cards. Thing is, if I'm going to get this up to five to buy one painting, say like this, which makes sense, I've only got either three or five left here, which is not really enough to do anything other than buy that red card, which frees up that red gallery with that gallery, and I don't think I want to do that because <laughs> that would that would be to Edward's advantage, and then, you know. I'm not in, not in the game of giving Edward an advantage. So, what do I do? I actually, what I'm <laughs> going to do is I'm going to haggle first. And I'm not haggling for any particular reason, other than to, it will force me to cycle the deck. And again, a general rule with deck builders is you want to cycle your deck as rapidly as possible. Um, so I've now got some other things in my hand. Pete, hang out for the end of the uh, stream. And we'll be announcing all the details of the new edition that's coming out. And I will do exactly what I was going to do before, which is to discard those to buy that. So that sends blue up four, please, Edward. And did you trash that one? Um, and what one has to be trashed? Yes, quite mm -hmm. good, ca good catch. The whole point was to get rid of the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got three actually fairly reasonable cards sitting in my hand here, so maybe I won't actually draw, uh, discard these. I'll pick up only two from here. <laughs> would you like some? And would you like red? <laughs> <laughs> the world is your oyster. <laughs> the world is your oyster as long as it's red. <laughs> Right, so, uh, okay. Um, that definitely limits our options, right? So, I will go, yeah. That's two, because green's worth two. Purple's worth one, that's three. That'll be five. I'll go ahead and pick up the fancy noble. And we have another uh, Seeds of Wealth, which is buy one five gold card. So trash this, and you get that, essentially. By doing that, gold now goes up three. Ooh, actually, there. So gold, at the end of the game, did not change its value, but it is going up towards doing so. Then, last action is I could trash the one to buy a three value, and yellow is still only worth one. So you know what? I'll spend two. Red will go up three. <laughs> hey, we can play this game. Well, we can play this game. So there, and now we will uh, shuffle because I need to draw back up to five. So. All right. Uh, all right. I'm gonna start off by haggling. So draw two. Okay. Well, that doesn't change much. Um, well, there you go, Luke. It's actually mechanically really simple. So, one, two, three, four. All right. Mm. 
let's spend two, four, six, eight. Um, so we're going to display a painting here. All right. With the discount, so I only have to pay eight. So you need to put two meeples up there, one for your discount mm -hmm. special, and then one on the card. Mm -hmm. And you're going to score nine points yep. for purple, but and we don't know which one he's going to use. I'm going to use this one. Uh, seems <laughs> selfish. All right, so nine points, boom, done. And purple is going to go up five, mm -hmm. which purple is now worth two. Okay, and I'm going to hang on to the card I've got in my hands. There we go. All right. Okay, then. Oh, wow. Um, now, I almost feel bad about that. So Tate Wu says he, he hasn't even seen the artwork. So, oh. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> I, I actually got an email at like 2 in the morning uh, this morning um, uh, showing off uh, the cover as well as a couple pieces of the artwork. So, <laughs> I'll give all the details. So, all right. <laughs> Tate says he's here to support the playthrough and to see that, right? <laughs> right? And it's very go. early in the morning for him. It is. It's very early. So, well, thanks for doing it. What I count as very early anyway. Uh, I, I feel like I should only clear one of these, but you know what? I think I will exhibit also. Oh, we're going to play a stall game, I see. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, you guys started this. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure I can then buy. So yeah, I can do that. I will, I'll be buying red also. Okay. But I'll be exhibiting <laughs> on top of it. So, so let's do the ex exhibition first. So I'm going to trash this three. For okay. The eight value. Okay. And then I need um, at least one more. At least one more. So yeah, we'll we'll do that for one more. Okay. So this gets trashed. And this is here, and we will exhibit this blue painting. So blue will go up five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Blue is now worth two. And nine points was it uh, for green? Eight. 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 So yeah. And then I have three left over. Or I could trash this. I might want to trash it actually. Just get it in my hand. Um, yes, I will trash this and take that in anyway. All right, so that's so actually, gone. I could take that one and it will go up three. Let's do that one. It would. All take right, the red so, and go mm -hmm. three. so overpaying mm -hmm. a bit. So red will go up three there, and now we will refill three, and it's now four. We, and Mr. Feller, I can't imagine you would. Uh, be interested in what's coming out. Hmm, I don't know. There's some interesting looking things down there. Hmm, so I was thinking of doing an early exhibit as well, and I also have the, uh, the card to trash for an exhibit, but they've driven out the two discount things, so now it's going to definitely cost me 11 or 12 to exhibit. Um, but I could still do that. I mean, I do quite handily have these now increased in price blues, which is quite nice. Um, so, maybe that's, that would be worth a plan. And then I've got one that I could trash to buy one painting, and four is exactly what's there, and there are blues there, and I kind of like blues, so maybe I'm going to do that. So, um, this will go for the trash, eight, and then I've got four with these two That'd um, be classic 12. paintings, that's 12, that puts me into that gallery. And what one are you exhibiting, It'll sir? be a blue. So blue goes up six. There we go. And I'll take one of those black cubes and send nine. that one to nine. Uh, that'll be 11, actually, 11. for blue, because mm -hmm. another... That's it. So I'm getting the two-point bonus. So it's two for that, and then nine more for that. There we go. Right. And then I can trash this one to buy one painting for four. And that will send blue up another three. Thank you very much. And blue is now worth three. We all like to be beside the sea, so the seascapes. And I've exhausted my hand, so I can just draw up another that will require me to shuffle and twist. And the market is not in as bad a state as I left it for you last time, Edward. Yeah, uh, novel. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be four to purchase the yellow. Um, you know what? Check that. Hold on. I'm doing this wrong. Um, You know what? Instead, I'm going to trash this for three and play that for four for the yellow. Yellow will go up three. One, two, three. Yellow is now worth two, so this gets trashed. Okay. 
Hey Ryan, hold on, all galleries are... All galleries are filled? Have we been mean? playing this wrong? A moment. I mean, obviously he's the designer, I'm going to defer to him. Mm. Refill all galleries, the listed number. Wow, we have been playing this wrong whole time. Oh wow. <laughs> it's clear as day. By the way, so. <laughs> oh, that completely alters your calculations, doesn't it? So if one of them empties, they all fill. They wow. all fill. Ah. So that technically yeah. would have only been there. So interesting. Two in this one, and two, and two in this one. Interesting. Oh, so when one empties, we all we, fill we all re ah. so that it doesn't become a stall game. Yeah. Right. There okay. we go. That's Thank probably you a good for thing. The fix. Yes. Hey, banker Dave in the house. What's up, Dave? Oh, well, that changes things. So, I'm still going to do as I did. Hmm. However, it's a whole lot more interesting right now. Mm. I cannot purchase from here, which is the one I would most like to purchase from again. However, um, hmm. you know what? I think I will purchase... Two, four, six, I'm actually going to purchase the red, red goes up four, red's now worth two, there we go, done. Okay, so... Let's do two, four, six, eight to get this purple. So purple goes up six. And then three will get me this blue storm. Blue so it goes, goes up, up two. two. Got it. All right, done. Hmm. I've read the rules twice and I miss that every time. <laughs> just goes to show that sometimes you can just get. Yep, well, yep. just slide over it. important yep. happened to me with games in the past. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I will trash this treasure uh, by, uh, I, get, I get four to buy one painting, so I'll take the purple the purple card. There? Yeah. So purple going up three. And then... Which is just enough to make it worth exactly what it was. Do I want that or do I want them? Yeah, okay, sure. Take care, Pete. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll take that red. Red goes up six. Yeah, we'll make red something. There so we go. So red. now this will go away. So the minimum value here is going to be the eight, all right? That is higher than the discarded token, right? So the nine then comes out okay. to that there. So now we're going to refill all of them. Okay. So three, so one, two, one, two. I will say it makes running out of these a whole lot more viable now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that actually made the game go a lot faster. Yep. There huh. we go. And the game was already pretty fast. Yeah, it was, right? <laughs> all right, yeah. cool. Hello, Brianna. Okay, so oh, stay warm, Dave. What do we have? Yeah, so that stall that we all did now even makes even more sense, though, because you didn't want to trigger right everything getting filled for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what have I got in hand? I got. Yeah. Do I want to try and exhibit something? I don't think I've got enough monetary firepower to do so. Three, four, five, six, no I haven't. So let's, let's look at buying art. No blues out, which I've been partial to. Maybe I want to get into a bit of purple. There's a, some cheap purple for just four. And it, oh, I can uh, trash this painting for three. Mm. Use this slightly useless red, and that will get me a four. So I'll take a Do you purple. have a preference, no. Chargers or Summer Alice? No. Well, if that's the case, then I will give you Summer Alice because I have my eye potentially on Chargers. Okay. So that works so. out. So purple goes up three. Purple's now worth three. Well, it's worth three. Okay. And mm -hmm. I have uh, worth six in my hand. Not enough to buy anything that's really appealing. Red so or not. possibly a yellow? Could possibly go for a yellow, but actually would. Uh, 
uh, certainly recoup its price pretty fast since it's um, at um, two at the moment and it's likely to go up. Edward was pushing the yellows. So I don't know what you're look. talking about. <laughs> He's going to be uh, wanting to push them more. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a, the yellow of three, please. So, so the yellow uh, two. You're, you're a Paja. Okay. Yellow goes up two. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So and I have one blue in my hand, so I think I'm going to hang on to that because the value of it is quite high and I'll refill it with four cards. I'm going to haggle and discard the young wolf, draw two more, plus it gets me through my deck, was the thought process on that. Um, so now I have a question, now that that goes on. So, these are distinct actions. Meaning the co the price that you pay for one does not carry over for what you pay, uh, what uh, spending for the second action, correct? Mm -hmm. Which would then lead me to believe that this card, the buy one or two paintings in the same gallery, allows you as the same action to purchase two cards with one action. Would we agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. That's what that's for. Yeah. Good. So I'm going to trash this for eight, and I'll purchase these two. So yellow and purple will each go up three. And we lose the four. Yep. So and so on. the six will come out and we refill. One, three, the end. And I currently have five cards left. So this is an interesting thought. What Before you take an action real quick, let mm -hmm. me think, because this is the first time I've had this situation where I actually have a full hand of cards. Do I want to hold on to them? It depends. If it's if there's better stuff in your discard exactly, pile, right? then you want to cycle your hand. Nope, I'm going to keep my entire hand. That good, eh? Okay. Good. Uh, all right, I'm going to haggle. They have not, Brianna. I am still waiting for the... The you uh, all of the heavy cardboard games for Messin to still arrive, which should be by the end of next week. Okay, so which means all the shirts that are in those boxes as well. It's filler. That's eleven. So, or sorry, um, eleven, and then fourteen. So we're gonna slightly overpay, but we're gonna exhibit this here. So purple's going up seven. Yep. Five, uh, six, seven, and. Andrew gets 10 points. 10 points. Yes. Purple's now worth four. Okay. And that is my turn. It's your turn. Okay, so you left those. So what's it going to cost me? Let's see. Um, three, six, yeah, I have the cash. That's not a problem. Okay, so I will trash this to get four, four spending power for, for painting, so I will take the purple. Okay. Shocked. Yeah. Seems purple reasonable. goes up two. And then I will spend, I need to spend six. So these are each four, and purple is four. Okay, so I'll spend two, four, and four more. Oh wait, no, I didn't need to spend that much. I was gonna say, two and four. Right? Two and four, two and four. There you go. Uh, for the blue card. So storm. Yeah. So blue will go up, trace, mm -hmm. yep. three. Blue goes up three. I'm Boom, gonna done. hold on to one card. Okay, Martin. Okay, so I think I'm ready to do another exhibit that's going to use all my hand power. Um, I could haggle, but I don't want to risk that it would, that it would throw it off, so I'm going to end up uh, passing and only taking one action, which feels bad thing, but there we are. So, night, that is six, four for the purple, two for the green. Another six, because the blues are three each, that gives me twelve. And that will allow me to uh, put a second blue exhibit into here. Blue goes up six. And I get three, nine six. points. And nine blue points. is now worth four. Which is good because I've still got a fair, fair amount of blues lying around in my hand. Well, you guys have done what I needed you to do. Four, eight, ten, twelve. That's 14. not the words I wanted to hear. <laughs> uh, I don't want that one. I am indifferent on that. I will discard that to haggle, so I need to shuffle a moment. Oh, okay, it's not too bad, it's 10 a.m. Uh, 
He's at, uh, going to Tokyo Game Market. That's, oh, all right. So 10 a.m. That's not too bad. All right. Well, that was um, I think the phrase is fortuitous. So that is uh, four, eight, twelve. Fourteen, sixteen. Mm. Pretty sure that's not seventeen. So we'll go ahead and exhibit uh, a pawn for a total of twelve points because I get the bonus up there. So yellow goes up eight. That's four. That's eight. And yeah, you guys. Don't have a whole lot of yellow out there. That'll work. Done. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's do... So we're going to trash this for four and add on another four and two for ten. So I can buy this yellow. Yellow goes up six. Yellow goes up six. That goes away. Yellow is now worth four. Mm -hmm. And we will also use this to trash it, add on another two from the green, so that's six, and... Could I interest you maybe in a red? Yeah, we'll... Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll take this one, because... Red goes up a four. four. So this goes away. Red is now worth three. All of a sudden, green, which jumped out to a lead. Yeah, it's no longer as back. exciting as it was. Um, now... Supply is limited. <laughs> money change, let me see, so... Hmm. No. Okay, so I will buy instead. Could I interest you possibly in some red? Yes, I think it will be some red. Um, which gallery do I want to buy from? Do I want to fill for everyone? Uh, no. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to buy a five also. Uh, so I'll buy... Gold card or buy one or two paintings in I'll a I'll do the, the, uh, the one or two paintings. So that okay, costs five. Noble. So let's see, what do I need to get to five? So a blue and a one. No, a blue okay. and a... That goes up three. I'll so do the... I guarantee we have forgotten this. A red and a... Sorry, a red and a green. That's five money. Okay. Um, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah. I have it in my hand. Okay. Maybe so this is the one I'm buying. Three okay. out there. One, two, three. And then I will spend, three. I will okay. trash this for three, four, mm -hmm. four, three, six, eight. And I only need to buy, get to six. So I'll take one of these red, six reds. Okay, and red will go up three. three. Do you guys have any threes in your hand? I see that one. Is there any others? I don't have any. Okay. Um, I will let you know. Okay. Yes, I have a second. So I have two right. here, and then the next So as long as that's all of them, then we're, we're accurate. Okay. Good. All right, Martin, you're up. Okay, so the uh, art market's looking really dull at the moment, so it looks like it's going to be another one shot um, at exhibiting. Um, do I want to haggle first? The hand looks like this. The green is, of course, the pathetic card in this. Well, but on the other hand, yeah, the, I could yeah. I could actually <laughs> exhibit the green, which you would could. get it out of my hand, where, where it's scoring going to score less points if it doesn't go up, because yeah, no, uh, that will send it up a little bit. But call. that would be not necessarily a bad thing. Um, and I could push up By gold. into the thirteens because I've got. Um, Four paintings were four, um, and there are a couple of green slots there. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do um, spend, uh, just do the single action and exhibit here. Um, I could take one of the green cubes, couldn't I? To be nice to people. You could. <laughs> so, so green goes up seven, and I score ten. 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 You are blue. Okay. Another single action round. It feels bad, but I feel it's better than the option for options. Ah, uh, for 
So what do we want to do for the second action then? Could trash. Oh, no, because that'll be gone. But I could do that, and that'd be worth that. Yeah, maybe. That'll work. Yeah. There's twelve. So the red, so yellow score eight points. And red goes up by six. It does. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, I'll trash this for four, which uh, I'm pretty sure four means three. Red's going to go up two. So red, everything's worth four. Except, except for green. green. There we go. Good, glad I've got rid of it. <laughs> okay. Two, and shuffle. There we go. So are you guys at home, I imagine, uh, able to follow along? By the way, there are eight mm. in the exhibit, or in the exposition. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. All right, I'm going to haggle. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm. It can sneak up. Uh, ooh, well, oh, this feels dumb, but it's fine. Oh, good. I think okay. I can do it. So I'll spend 16, so I'll overpay a little bit, but uh, I'm going to exhibit this here. That's more than a little bit, but okay. So nine for blue, and green goes up seven. Okay. Green, for, green's now worth three. Um, it was nine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so green is worth three now. Okay, that, that might help. Three, four, six, seven, yeah. yeah, sure. Okay, so I will hang... Uh, let's see. I'm going to ex exhibit this green, so to get there, in here. To get there I need 12, so 3, 6, um, 9, yeah. That's 13. It's 13. I'm not doing here. <laughs> <laughs> because he doesn't want to fill that one to no. trigger that, right? Correct. So this is going to go here, this is a one action turn also, so that'll go there. Put this out. So seven for green. Yep. And this will go down. Seven. And green goes up six. Wow. Everything's worth four. Green is... Uh, Even green. Yeah. Wow. Well, we seem to be in the world of one action turns, don't we? Um, Two, so four, six, eight, I can ten, go... Eleven. So just FYI, the game could conceivably end after my turn. It yeah. could. That, that would be much faster than I've seen. Four... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can put 1 in the 11 slot. Oh. I have a red card. I will take it. So let's score 8 points for blue oh. and send <laughs> red up by 5. <clears throat> Should I do red here? And oh. David's this guy. So, just to be clear, so that just making sure that's 7, that's 11. Right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. if I were to exhibit anything but yellow, yellows would be worth all an extra three victory points. Am I correct in, uh, in, in reading that? In the museum. So this specifically, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Is it worth me even drawing my hand? That's the question. Uh, I suspect not. Oh, I wish. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh. Huh. Huh. So what do we have here? Well, you know what? I will... Literally doesn't matter which one. I'll haggle. Oh, wait. I don't know if I want to haggle with that color looking at what's out there. <laughs> so... So it literally doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, then do anything. Green, I just don't, wait, you know what? We'll, we'll haggle with yellow. So we'll draw two more. So everything's worth four, right? Mm -hmm. It seems so. Which I'm pretty sure four times four is 16. Mm -hmm. Was last time I looked it up. But if we were to say throw a, I don't know, a green, I don't know. A red? If we were to do something like this, so that would need 17. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That'll work. 
Hmm. Red goes up nine, yellow gets how many points? Oh, points? wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, that's the <laughs> other thing. Hold on. Let me do it the other way. Oh, because it'd go up nine. Hmm. Yeah, yellow's not gonna. <laughs> so I'm okay with red doing it, yes. All right, so red. Uh, so yellow scoring 12. Yep. Red is going up nine. One, two, three, four, nine. And that'll trigger the end of the game. Wow. It was uh, the fastest the game I've person. ever seen, right, because ah. I was player four. So that's 12. So now we go into final scoring. Wow, that happened quick, so didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you uh, said you thought right. we'd be moving so it here. along a bit. <laughs> Everything here is going to be worth three points. Reds will be worth four points. Gold is, is a five to one ratio. That's I mean. That's, yeah, I've never seen And it. the only one that will go is this one. And what's that say? The genre that has the least paintings in the museum, all paintings in, in the museum get five VP. So five, VP. five for yellow, yeah. because yellow is the fewest. Right. So five yeah. for this specific Right, right. so yeah. five for yellow oh, for yeah. that. Might yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, read them and weep, right? Uh, gold, obviously, is not worth anything at the end of the game. It's worth five for one. Five. Oh, fair point. So, uh, like I said, it's worth nothing at the end of the game yeah. for some of us. Uh, all right, so go for it, Andrew. What do you got? Andrew is purple. Mm -hmm. Bring him up there so oh, folks sure. can see. Oh, just above your board. No gold left over. No gold. Okay. So uh, that's five. Mm -hmm. Seven. Nine, nine times. Nine times three is twenty-seven. Plus twenty-seven and four is thirty-one. Yep. One and you're purple. So yep. one that looks like fifty-nine to me. Uh, pretty sure you cost me the game, Edward. <laughs> My goal was to win the game, not to the game. So we'll see. Because the fact that that was going to be worth seventeen points. Yeah. That right there, because of that triggering the end of the game, we'll yeah. see if it worked out. Yeah. All right. So I've got six money left over, which is one point. Okay, so could be an now. important one. Yeah. And then I have uh, yellows, greens, purples, and blues. So That's two, two, four, six, six, eight. Yep. And then three reds. Eight is twenty-four, and twelve is thirty-six. So twenty-two. Fifty-two. Right. What I say? Sorry. Thirty-six and sixteen. Thirty-six. So fifty-two. Fifty-two. Yep. Okay. Wow, these are low scores. Yeah. Because the game ended so quick. Yeah. Um, Martin. I got six at three apiece, so that's 18. 18 more for a blue. 56. For blue. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea. I've been adding to the suspense. So mm. there's four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's 2731. Uh, 68. 68. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yep. <laughs> there we go. So, hashtag terrible teacher. 68. Uh, Andrew at 59. Martin with 56. And a bitter Andrew, apparently. <laughs> and uh, Martin. <laughs> or, well, oh, uh, yeah, wait, no, Shrey. Sorry, at 52. So, there we go. Um, wow, that ended quick. Yeah. I needed one more turn. I, uh, uh, I was going to fill this oh, thing up, get that yeah. thing. No, I did. I was, when Martin helped you out there, I was like, no, that's not a great thing. <laughs> because I... Uh, because I definitely had the most purple stuff. Like, I had a ton of purple paintings here. You would have gotten an little... extra six points for that. Plus right? another eight. Like, right, yeah. The 14 is yeah. none that... Yeah. The, mm. There's yeah. no difference. I get that. I, I, I get that. Um, all right, so start on that side of the, the table. What did you guys think of uh, Promenade? I know this is like the, your third, fourth this game. This is my fourth, it. I think. Okay. And I, I've liked it. It's, it's been it's been really fun. It's, and and they've been very they've been very different. This one super fast. Other games like Gold Gold Shot near it nearly reached seventy. Um, I've, the games have been you know the the, with the the pace of the game has it's been different and it's been uh, it's been engaging throughout. Like your turns are quick. Um, the market is, is, is you know, the, what's a, the paintings that are available are, are you know, you try to, try to uh, draft off what other people are doing in terms of pushing stuff up, and, uh, and, and all that comes together in, in, in a nice little, a quick, simple, simple game. It's, it's uh, uh, for a deck builder, I'm not a huge deck builder fan. I, 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 I got pretty tired of Dominion pretty quickly. I mean, it's, it's a good game, but it doesn't really 
for me, it's it's not. It's not. Like, Doesn't it's like, hold. Yeah. Yeah. This one, this one, I I I, I could see lasting. It's it's that nice that nice weight, that nice length. It's good. Yeah. All right, Martin. Yeah, I like the combination of deck builder and then the paintings steadily increasing in value. Um, I mean, I like Dominion. It's always been one of my favorites. Um, and this uses that deck builder mechanism that is familiar and then provides this whole um, painting art uh, growth, of an asset that grows in value. And you've got a nice trade-off with what, what do you want to keep in your hand? What do you want to put out on the exhibits? Um, is it good to sort of dump a low scoring, low value painting out on the exhibits? Or maybe it will come back and as it did here. Um, and it's not too complicated. It's quite easy teacher of rules, so that's quite good. Um, I have one caveat in my mind. Both times I've played, and I gather you've seen something different, we've had a very tight market at the end. Mm -hmm. And that would concern me a bit, because if the market is just, you know, a one point difference between all the, all the paintings, then, then what's the point? you're right? not really yeah, getting yeah. very much of a dynamic market there. Right. And that would, that would concern me. If that happens a lot, then that definitely reduces a lot of the interest in this um, dynamic market side. And I'd wonder whether there's something about the structure of the game that tends to hoard the paintings together. While I'd rather see a game where you've actually got a lot of disparity and therefore you've got to make decisions about the which colors to go for. The longer the game, for. the more disparity I've seen. Uh, mm. So it depends on the pace of the players. So the players dictate that. If, mm. Because as you saw, there weren't a ton of turns in this game, so there wasn't a whole lot of time for things to differentiate a whole lot. And there's that whole, you know, spread out and contract uh, mechanism kind of with the way the market works. It's also going to be dependent on how we're putting out uh, all of our artwork, be it the fact that we chose to not be nasty necessarily, but take the black cubes that's going to limit our options as to what we can put out there, which those are significant jumps. I mean, you're talking five mm -hmm. to nine jumps for the market. That can be massive. If things are getting loaded up with certain colors, then there can be a much bigger disparity. So I would say that the length of the game is directly proportionate with how spread out the, yeah, my the, first, the my market first is. Game, um, I think there were, there were a couple in this area in the, in the, in the five, six band, and then there were, there were more down near the yeah, bottom. Yeah, it's, I've seen spreads as high as like from sixes to threes. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, so this I would say is not the norm that I have seen. So yeah, I agree with that. So thoughts on the game though? Yeah. Uh, so I'm like sure I'm a huge sucker for deck builders. Okay, uh, all right, good, good. Yeah, I, I really like this and it's nice that it's not just this typical like Part of the problem with a game like Dominion is like big money is always a thing where it's just like just get the highest thing that gets you cash and then get the things and then you're good and this this doesn't really like I didn't go get any money cards this game and it worked out kind of well for me. We didn't mm. buy a single one of these. Yeah, yeah. and okay. I've seen and the other game I played of this like we people bought a lot of money and that yep. and like that gold market went way up so like that can change a lot depending on you know who's playing and how the market works out um, and that rule actually that we got wrong that changes a ton. It but. does. Uh, so, so the two things point out on here is the value of the market can never go down. So it, it's the next available that is higher than what it is. So in this case, so when all three of these go out, they'll take the seven. Whereas if the nine were to empty, then it would have to be the 10 because it can't go down in value. That's number one. And number two is when one of these empties, all of them refill. Yeah. So that's and that makes a big difference because then you don't have that stalling out thing we were doing. Right. And like, yep. there's more, and that probably makes that f it's weird. It simultaneously makes the game shorter because you're running into this deck quicker, but also makes the game you're more likely to got buy more cards because there's more available, more stuff available here, and you're less likely to focus on exhibiting right away. Right. So that's really interesting. I think like. Yeah, it's mechanically not that much harder for, than most. Like, I think this is a good game for someone who is like relatively new to the lobby. Mm -hmm. And aesthetically, like, I like how it looks. Like, oh, it just, I think it's beautiful. The colors just pop out, and it just like catches your attention in a way that is really, really nice. And it, it is a nice theme, and it, it, it uh, I would say perhaps more of a setting than a theme. It, 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 the theme doesn't really follow in the mechanics of the game particularly um, but the setting having an art gallery setting is really nice and of course that just encourages interesting art design tricks as well which mm -hmm. uh, um, I'm certainly interested in and for me 
I I fall somewhere in between Shrey because I did burn out on Dominion because I came from a Magic the Gathering background uh, when I first got into the hobby. Um, so I kind of ebb and flow with deck building. Um, there are times to where I, I really enjoy it. There are times I'm a little more standoffish about it. I've played this game four times now, and I'm actually excited to play it more. Mm -hmm. That says something mm -hmm. because that mm -hmm. is not that, especially with. Uh, the churn and burn with the show, that is very much... There are times I'll play a game twice and I'm like, I'm all set there. I don't need to play that again. Uh, again, sometimes I'll play it once and think that. Um, four plays in and I'm legitimately interested to see what else this game has mm. to offer. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to play it more. And I could see this getting played at game days uh, as you know, filler while you're waiting mm. for folks. Because, I mean, with the full teach... <laughs> With the full round table, we're looking at an hour and 12 minutes or so now. That's for a four player wow. game. It's a lunchtime uh, game. Arguably, <laughs> yeah. it really legitimately could be. So, yeah, I am uh, color me impressed. There's enough here to where it feels to where I'm interested being an experienced gamer with this, but at the same time, kind of like what you said, Andrew, that this rules overhead, you could play this with, you know. Older kids, I imagine, mm -hmm. but as well as more casual gamers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And right. there's plenty enough for everybody to be interested in it. Right. I totally imagine like friends of mine who have very little interest in games walking by this board and just being like, oh, what is this? This looks really interesting. Just like it immediately catches your attention. Well, an art theme always helps. I mean, it's one of the great things of getting modern art. Yeah, um, absolutely. And you playing that for people because the art theme is just always, particularly if there's good art on the cards, mm -hmm. and right. that helps draw it in. It does. Um, like, I mean, the fact that the artwork is named, I realize that's really a trivial thing, but to me it's more appealing as opposed to if that name wasn't there. I don't know. It's a quirk, I guess, <laughs> but whatever. Um, so Tate Wu says, uh, you, you have to understand how to drive the market. There, uh, there, there's room to push value up, and the first few games are going to be slower after that. It should be really fast, as I think mm. we showed that. Um, so a couple more things before we show the new artwork and everything else. Uh, I, they're actually, oh, actually it's on the chair, I think, oh. over there, if you guys would. Um, yeah. So in the box, and I'm pretty sure since gameplay is not going to change much in the new version, I want to show you guys this. So there is, there's expansions in the box, and there is a second market out here, as you can see. So... Um, the artwork doesn't change, but you'll notice that the gold market is considerably different. Um, that it starts out not worth a whole lot, and then, you know, peters out around 50 and then gets worse. Here, if you limit the value of gold, like where we were on this, it would be considerably better, but it goes way bad. Mm -hmm. So there's an alternative market, and... There's a whole set of uh, expansion stuff in here that we have not touched. So yeah. there's that uh, available as well that comes in the box. So there you go. So now um, details on the rest of the new version. So I talked to Ken over at Rio Grande Games, and here's what he sent me about the information. So here we go. First off, Rio Grande Games is picking up... Uh, Promenade. They're going to rename it. So here, I will show you guys this. So they are renaming it to Art Deco, kind of a play on words, a deck building game of art collecting. They have commissioned five different artists uh, to do three different unique pieces of art per. So that's going to be the five different genres of art, Art Nouveau, Impressionism, etc., etc. And it's going to have uh, the graphic design is done by Bridget Indelicato. Uh, she's worked on a number of projects, AEG, WizKids. So she's worked on 18 Chesapeake, Bloomtown, as well as Flavellas, and a couple of other games. Um, and the, obviously the name is changing. The gameplay is going to remain, uh, as I was told, essentially the same. Uh, and expect it second quarter of 2020. So there you go. Um, so some of the artwork. So this, it, everything is subject to change. Everything I just told you, subject change. The artwork that I'm going to show you, subject to change. So keep that in mind. But that said, that is the uh, uh, proposed cover so far for Art Deco. And then uh, that is one of the artwork, uh, one of the types of artwork from one of the artists. I don't know who the artists are, 
Um, all I know is that uh, Bridget in Delicato is the one kind of graphic design in charge of all of this. So that's one of the pieces of artwork and one of the other styles is as you see there. So very drastic differences between mm -hmm. that, which is more, I don't know, would anybody pop know? Pop art? Pop yeah. oh, okay, there you go, yeah, pop, pop, pop art, yeah. that makes sense. And then kind of a oh, well, nouveau. Art, art nouveau, dare I say, <laughs> so there you go. All right, so there you go. Look for that uh, from Rio Grande Games in second quarter of 2020, which second quarter is what? That is uh, March to June, somewhere in the, or April to June-ish. Keep in mind, things are fluid, things might slide, et cetera, et cetera. So there's that. Um, a big, big thank you to uh, Tate Wu, um, who designed the game as well as originally published it over at his company, Sunrise Tornado Game Studio, as well as uh, providing us with the copy, and Scott Ferrier for his copy as well. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, yeah, I'm, I want to play this more. I'm mm -hmm. excited. Definitely. So it seems like everybody's in agreement. So there's that. So, like I said, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, like for any link to down below, uh, link or uh, like, subscribe down below if you would. You want to support the show, you can go to pledgehc.com, support the show there, get access to the Slack channel, my teaching notes for when I teach games, et cetera, et cetera. So thanks everybody. We will be back Saturday at noon for a live stream of the game that uh, was the first thing that I ever did uh, content creation wise, which is a teaching video that took me something like 70 some odd takes of dominant species. In honor of the passing of Chad Jensen, we thought, you know what? Why don't we get dominant species to the table? We've done a Glory to Rome stream, but we haven't done a public one, so we're going to do that Saturday during our game day here at uh, noon. So hopefully you guys join us for that. Other than that, and then we're going to be doing something on Sunday. We don't know what yet. It'll be a surprise to us, too. So hopefully you guys join us this weekend. I'm Edward. Andrew. Shrey. And Martin. All right. You guys have a wonderful evening or morning if you're across the pond, the other direction. And thanks, everybody. <laughs> we'll catch you all on Saturday. And again, a big thank you to Tate Wu. So thanks for hanging out. Take care, everybody. Ah, I like the artwork on both the original and the new version. I'm excited to see yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like uh, how many different versions of modern art there are. There's like yeah. 730. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with an art themed game, you think you could go into a whole thing of going around art galleries saying, yeah, we could do the art gallery, whatever. Not just paintings, right? Yeah. It could be sculptures, it could be yeah. whatever. That would so, be cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it.